Welcome everyone to Gamer Milk. Today I've got some good news and then some bad news. Starting with the new 10,850K, Ryzen 4700G is an overclocking champ, and we have release dates on AMD's Ryzen 4000G desktop APUs, yet you can't buy them. But first, if you're looking at getting parts for your next PC, check out kit.co slash gamermelt, where I go over hardware suggestions based on component type. I also give a short description for why you may or may not want a certain part. Not only that, but when you follow the links, you're helping the channel out. And this is fairly early, so I'll be adding a ton more in the near future, as well as keeping it updated as new hardware comes out. So visit kit.co slash gamermelt today. Okay, it's news time, and first up for today, I've got an update to the recent story I did on a new Comet Lake i9. For those who didn't see it, the CPU was originally spotted by Tom Apisak, and it's the i9-10850K. At first, many assumed it would be an OEM-only part, and with it later found in the Digital Storm build configurator, that seemed to be the case. But in a new story from Video Cards, the CPU was spotted at multiple retailers, along with a couple new Celeron processors. The new i9 is 100 MHz slower than the 10900K, but looks to be between 8 to 15% cheaper depending on the retailer. Of course, that price can fluctuate quite a bit, but at the end of the day, it's always nice to see cheaper options. Next up for today, AMD's upcoming Ryzen 4000 desktop APUs are set to be some of the best overclockers around with new benchmarks. But before I get to it, there seems to be some confusion on these parts. Remember that AMD's APUs are a generation behind their CPUs, so the 4000G desktop APUs are based on the same Zen 2 architecture as AMD's Ryzen 3000 CPUs. The thing that does separate these, besides it being an APU, is that it's on a monolithic die, meaning they aren't multiple dies configured together. This lowers latency by quite a bit, as well as allow the Infinity Fabric to get some pretty impressive clocks. Also, I'm thinking about doing a series of videos where I explain things like this so I can link them from other videos instead of repeating it all multiple times. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Anyway, the story originally comes from IT Cooker, who did a series of overclocking on the Ryzen 7 4700G, which is an 8-core, 16-thread part. For starters, he was able to get the Infinity Fabric clocked to an impressive 2200 MHz, which is around 400 MHz higher than most any Matisse CPU. That means lower latency and potentially better gaming performance. Not only that, but he was even able to get it overclocked to a whopping 4.8 GHz across all cores. Now, I will say that he seemed to have issues with not having enough cache when getting to higher clocks, since these have way less than Ryzen 3000 CPUs. Plus, we don't know what cooling he used, but according to WCCF Tech, he likes to put radiators in a bucket of ice. Still, a really good custom loop could potentially bring similar results. At the end of the day, AMD's Ryzen 4000 APUs are looking to be a serious improvement over AMD's Ryzen 3000 CPUs. Now, with all of that said, I do have some good and bad news. The good news is that we finally have a release date for AMD's Ryzen 4000 G desktop APUs. The story was originally published by Quasar Zone with the promise of a new product on July 21st. Well, you can see that RO Game retweeted a post about the Renoir series of APUs, which is what their desktop APUs are based on. And that's talking about that July 21st. Basically, they're right around the corner. But unfortunately, that brings us to the bad news. As you can see in the original tweet, it mentions the Ryzen Pro 4750G, 4650G, and 4350G. Well, if we look back at a post from WCCF Tech, we can see that their source called this date a little while back. And I do apologize for not getting to that report sooner, but things were a little hectic around that time. Either way, it seems that their source was right, given the new report isn't feeding off of WCCF Tech's report. And if that's the case, WCCF Tech's source didn't stop there. According to them, AMD has apparently decided to transition all of their 4000 APUs to the Pro side and focus on OEMs and system builders. That would explain the original tweet being for the Pro models only, meaning AMD may never sell their 4000G APUs to the DIY market at all. Now, obviously I just discussed the 4700G, and we've seen other benchmarks of non-Pro models in the past. But, as WCCF Tech said, those have been engineering samples, so the final names can be different. 
According to WCCF Tech, the reason is because margins on third gen CPUs are much better, so they don't want to pull market from them. And that does make sense. As I've said in the past, an 8 core APU doesn't really work for most gamers since you get a much better system by spending less on a 4 core part with a discrete GPU or just getting the cheaper CPU. Then again, with these overclocking numbers, I'm seriously reconsidering this. Maybe that's why they released their XT variants, so we wouldn't feel so left out on the higher clocks. But still, 4.8 GHz across all cores? Why, AMD? Say it isn't true. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Excited to see what AMD's Ryzen 4000 APUs can do, or are you just bummed you may not be able to pick one up? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.